Hey guys, I just want to show you what I've been doing on the Millennium Falcon so far. I've been getting a scratch built uh, gunner's turret put together. And, but I want to show off the fiber optics on this guy. So <clears throat> what I did, and there's going to be a blue LED right there, and then these two are going to be violet. But what I did, here are, the, here are the lights, and these are also going to supply the main cockpit, which you can see it right there. But what these are, these are 5 millimeter. I have three bright whites on the bottom, I have a blue, and then I have a red. When I'm done, I'll paint this whole thing black just to cut down on that much more light coming out of it. But I got these lights off of L uh, Lighthouse LEDs. Dot com and these are pre-wired but the cool thing about these is they have a real small chip so you can see the resistor right there get you more so you can see the resistor right here but then to the left of that right in here there's a very small chip and all it does is it disrupts the the uh, power flow and causes it to blink and the nice thing about these for this type of stuff or lost in space is these are random blinkers they all blink just at any given time when you first plug it in see so watch this I'll unplug it and I plug it back in you can see for the most part the bright whites are blinking at the exact same time but after a while they start getting off you can kinda of see that and that's what's great about these they're random and so it really gives you a nice effect this will be the view when you look at it. Um, the, as you can see right now, when the fiber optics go off, you can kind of still see a little bit of a tip. That won't be that way when I get it closed up. That's ambient lighting. Um, all you'll be able to see are the lights that are blinking. And then again, those two white lights will be, or those two white spots will be violet, and then a blue one right in the back. So, yeah, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on what it's looking like so far. I've got the other section all wired up. The fiber optics will be red. And then I have the support built, as you can see. And it'll be for the whole back. And I have all these lined up perfectly. You can see on there that they're just lined perfectly. And I did that to make it look kind of like it's an engine. But as you can see, I used the kit parts, not the um, upgraded parts that I bought. I'll explain why in a different video. But when this thing's fully lit, here I'll light it up for you guys real fast. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's what it looks like. As you can see, I have the red feeder LED with all the one millimeter fiber optics coming in. But then I have all the landing lights. I have the two front lights and then there are two fiber optics. You can see one right here and there's one right there running into it. And then I've got the back set up. And you can see now you won't be able to see the the metal ports at all when the shield the glass back is put on, but you will be able to see individual bulbs like this. And I, I want to do that. It looks kind of ultraviolet in the video, but it is very, very blue. In person, let's see if I can. No, that just looks ultraviolet. It's very blue though. But the cool thing about it is when you flip it up, here's the bottom. And you can see all the red fiber optics I have coming down. It's quite amazing how many lights really are on this thing in person like, that you don't really see. These ones are not necessarily in the movie, but I thought they would look really cool on the side since they are kind of the docking ports. So I've got four on either side. I've got all the landing lights. These are three millimeters. These ones are five, just like in the movie. And then all the, the red lights that are cut that are on. And those are fiber rocks. They'll be cut down once time. And I have one aviation plug feeding it power. It has two ports. But this gunner hold will be covered up with the plastic that comes with it. And I'll just have it diffused with a light behind it, a blue light. Uh, but for the most part, this bottom section is done. Well, uh, for the most part, I've got to put a little piece of plastic in between here to cut the lighting off and so you can't see in to the lights. 
But that's really about it. I gotta come in and put something else down other than tape. Tape looks good, right? But um, all in all, it's coming out well. Get two more LEDs right here, just like in the uh, movie. I watch this one I'm trying to model off of the Falcon from The Empire Strikes Back. That's my favorite episode. I think it has the coolest looking Falcon in it. So that's the one I'm tending to model this one after. And a lot of them, these lights up here, these two lights, and a lot of these red lights, you do not see except in Empire Strikes Back when they're inside the space slug. So, but I've got all these brackets in there. I've got supports underneath. And this suck, it's going nowhere. It's it's on there. Not It's not a structural support as it is, but I'd rather be stronger than not. So that's what I have so far. Uh, keep, stay tuned. I will have some videos. I got my Tamiya tweezers, scissors, pliers, and calipers in today. So just stay tuned. I'm going to do a review on all of this. And then when I get the last of my parts in for the Enterprise refit that's sitting right over there, I'll do a review on all the parts and what I'm going to do with it. So hope you guys are enjoying the build. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll talk to you later.